remember, I was always told, don't smoke pot. It'll kill your brain cells, and it will eventually kill you, and it's just a bad thing to do, and never do it. And of course, as an innocent little girl, I believe my parents, right? Well, this all changed when I went to go bug my older sister, and I found her unconscious, laying on her floor. She was having convulsions, and her eyes were rolling in the back of her head, and she was filming out her mouth. I didn't know what to do, so I screamed, and I ran and grabbed my dad. He automatically wrapped her up in his arms and timed how long her convulsions lasted. I was maybe six, but I remember it like it was yesterday. I stood there in shock and watched my sister have her first seizure. After seeing this, I have had a different outlook on people who suffer from epilepsy and their hardships. It is a topic that pulls on my heart because I've seen my sister suffer for this for so long. After she has a seizure, she wants to sleep and has, can't sleep for 24 hours. She also gets sleepy from the medication that she has to take. She also gets de depressed and she was scared. She was terrified to go to school because she was embarrassed that what if this happened at school? People are gonna make fun of me. She wanted to keep it a secret as long as she could. And seeing all this affected me as her sister. We have enough stress in high school as is, and I can't imagine have this on top of everything else. And they shouldn't have to either. There are other extremities that wouldn't cause people to walk around like zombies or pop six to seven pills a day. People just want to feel normal, and the answer to this is medical marijuana. This is why I believe that marijuana should be legalized in the U.S., especially for medical usage. So why hasn't it been? It's because people are very skeptical of medical marijuana. The idea of pot, it's a criminal thing. I am even guilty of this before I started learning about the topic. It has so many bad reps and names. People also think it's a gateway drug, and they think this because of the gateway theory. According to ebsd.ebschost.com, there is a gateway theory, and it states that when people start to smoke pot and use marijuana, it, they cross the legal line, and they want to start getting a bigger high. So we'll mix it with alcohol and harder drugs. And once they cross the legal line, what's going to stop them from using something harder and break more of our laws? But this isn't always true. Marijuana isn't the problem, it's the people who are abusing it. And it has to do with your morals. Because of people that abuse it, marijuana is currently, the marijuana that is currently legalized in some of the states is still federally illegal. This means that even though it's legal in some states, around the world it is still federally illegal. Marijuana also has a harm score of 20. To get the full benefits from marijuana, we need to declassify it as a harmful drug. If there, there is no future worth with it if we do not. This means that we will not be able to use it as a cash crop and we will not be able to use it medically around the United States. In comparison to alcohol, alcohol has a harm score of 70. This is because it harms others and the user. This also means that there are bigger risks when you consume alcohol. With marijuana being lower, I think it would be smart to legalize. It is also less harmful. Alcohol killed 88,000 people annually from 2006 to 2010, and it was once illegal, but now it is legal. Opioid overdoses killed 14,000 people in the U.S. in 2014 alone, and it is a fact that you cannot overdose from marijuana. To put in perspective for you, if my sister continues on the medication that she is on now, she will not be able to have kids. She won't be able to have, on, have kids if she doesn't take the medication either because she will not be able to have a baby with the full term of nine months without having a seizure. And if she has a seizure, then the baby will not get oxygen and will die. In conclusion, marijuana isn't a gateway drug. Marijuana can be more beneficial than hurt. Marijuana needs to be legalized. It can help so many more than it can hurt. It can help people who suffer from PTSD, people who suffer from HIV and AIDS, people who have epilepsy, and much more. So get educated on the topic. It's up to our generation, so vote yes. In my opinion, if legalizing medical marijuana can just help one patient, one child, one brother or sister, it is worth the fight. Let people use it, people like my sister. Thank you. Um, you said that marijuana has a harm scale of 20.
what is what does that scale range from, and what is that compared to like other drugs? On the chart that I looked at, the it can range all the way up to 140. The harder drugs, obviously, are up there, like cocaine and meth, and pot is at the bottom of it. It's not even as high as alcohol, and alcohol has been legalized since the prohibition era. So, yeah. What types of diseases can medical marijuana cure? It can cure pain, and people who have cancer, it can lessen their pain and it can increase their appetite because when people take chemo, they don't have taste and they don't have an appetite and they will literally starve because they don't feel like eating. They don't like even feel the need to. So it can increase someone's appetite. Also with epilepsy, it like, there's a chemical in your brain that makes you have a seizure and it just lessens it and it helps people not have that as bad. And also people who shake, it can help them not shake. And people with HIV and AIDS, they're in a lot of pain, and it can just lessen their pain. <laughs> yeah. Um, in health class, we learned that like marijuana is like the number one gateway drug. So if that's not necessarily the case, why are they like teaching it? I believe that it has to do with your morals, whether or not you progress or not. It also depends on what kind of marijuana that you're using. Are you smoking it? Because medical marijuana can be used in oils. You can also like. So I guess it depends on your morals, whether you progress or not. So if your sister like, were to be able to get pregnant, would she have to stop smoking medical marijuana during her pregnancy? There was a study in Jamaica, and it's, pe people thought if they smoke marijuana, that it's going to be like the same as if they smoke tobacco. Like maybe the baby won't weigh as much, or there's going to be their birth defects. But in Jamaica, actually, the moms who were using cannabis, the babies actually moved their eyes sooner and like looked around sooner and were able to move quicker and like had more of a reaction time. And we've done the study in the U.S. too, but the people that we've done it on had other drugs that they've used before.